This video is made possible by Storyblocks Video. The last day of the year, and I'm making tutorial videos for YouTube. I've got a problem. But I also have something really cool to share with you guys. Inside Adobe Premiere Pro, we can find the Essential Graphics panel. Now, from the Browse tab, we've got a few default templates that we can drag into the timeline, but we can also make our own templates, either to share with your friends, sell in an online marketplace, or for your own branding. Interesting about the templates is that they will always appear in the Browse tab when creating new projects. But there are two types of templates. The first one are the basic templates created inside Premiere itself. What I've got right here is a simple animation with some graphics. Entirely made inside Premiere Pro. And now I'd like to save this as a template. So from the menu, choose Graphics and then Export as Motion Graphics Templates. From the dialog box, you can choose a name and where you'd like to save it. Choosing the Templates folder will automatically add it to your Premiere Pro's library. Hit OK and if we now go to the Browse tab, we will find our template somewhere in there, which we always have access to now. And that's the basic technique for making our own templates. Premiere Pro has limitations, so a second option is to use Adobe After Effects to create a template that we can use inside Adobe Premiere Pro. But before we jump into that, I'd first like to thank our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. It's an online library packed with hundreds of thousands of video assets, such as 4K stock clips in various styles and themes. They also have collections for when you're looking for a series of stock clips in the same style. Besides that, you can also find overlays, backgrounds, effects, and... After Effects templates. Whenever we need a quick intro or title sequence, we simply download one from the templates, change the text and render it out. And the incredible thing is that there's only a single price per year or per month, which allows you to download unlimited video assets, or in other words, the entire library if you like so. So definitely make sure to check it out by clicking that first link in the description down below. And now let's fire up Adobe After Effects. And let's start with the basics. I'm going to create a text and add a simple animation to the position. So this is what we have right here. And now let's export this as a template so that we can use it inside Premiere Pro. It works a little bit different here. Go to the menu, window, essential graphics. Starting off in this window, we have to choose a master, or in other words, the final composition where we created our template in. The idea now is that we drag specific properties to this panel. These are properties that the user can change inside Premiere. So the most obvious would be the source of the text layer. You can give this a label and a default text if you like so. To know which properties are all supported, you can click on the solo supported properties button and from here see all of the properties that are supported. You know, let's also drag the rotation property to there. Furthermore, on the bottom, we can add things like a comment. This is a non-editable property, but it could serve as additional information about the template. For instance, the creator of it. When you're done, just hit export motion graphics template, and like before, I'm also going to export it to the local templates folder. Inside Premiere Pro, we can now find this template in the library as well, and simply drag it to the timeline. From the Edit tab, we can then change the text, the rotation, and of course, see the comment of the creator. Now, this is of course very basic, so let me show you quickly one more thing of what's possible with After Effects. This here is an After Effects file that I got from Storyblocks. Now, some of the templates have a layer with controls to change things like text, position, colors, add more or less smoke, changing texture, etc. You could create such controls yourself with every project, but you need to know something about expressions and it could take some time. But luckily, this template has such a controller and we can drag any of these properties into the motion graphics template window. Then inside Premiere Pro, I drag the template to my timeline and I got an amazing animation that we could never make inside Premiere and with the essential graphics editor, we can very easily change those settings. In theory, the possibilities are endless and lots of fun. That's it guys! This was the last video of 2019. Wow, we made a ton of videos this year. You know, next year or tomorrow, we're gonna kick some ass again and we're gonna make some great videos like we did this year as well. Make a ton more very cool videos and tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be very careful tonight with the fireworks. Thank you Storyblocks Video for the support. And as always, stay creative! <laughs>